Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be um, trying a new recipe. It is a crock pot recipe and it's, it's Mexican stuffed bell peppers. Um, so the first thing we need to do is gather up all of our ingredients. You need four bell peppers, an onion, some enchilada sauce, some Spanish rice, some cheese, and and a pound of ground meat. I already have the ground meat cooking in the skillet. Um, and so now I'm gonna chop up the onions. Anytime I need to do um, diced onions, I like to use my mandolin um, to do like the slices and then I go back through with a knife and dice it up. I have super awesome professional knife cuts here. I know not everyone can cut as well as me, so you know, just do your best. So the recipe calls for half a cup of diced yellow onion, and I definitely have more than half a cup. What I will do is I'll measure out the half a cup, and I'll go ahead and put it in with the ground turkey that's browning, and I'll put the rest of it in a container and put it in the freezer, because you can freeze it for your next recipe. The next thing we need to do is Take off the well, take off the tops of the bell pepper and uh, remove the ribs and the seeds. I'm not sure how well this one's gonna stand up in the crock pot because uh, where's the feet? Now you just want to dice up the tops. You don't want to waste the tops of the bell pepper. Okay, in a mixing bowl, you're gonna combine the diced bell peppers with the cooked brown meat and the onions. And you're gonna add one cup of the enchilada sauce. This is a 10 ounce can, so I'm just using most of it. There's a little bit left in there. And you're gonna use a cup of Spanish rice. Now it does say already cooked rice um, in the recipe, and that's one of the reasons why I'm using this ready rice. Um, I don't have any leftover rice to use, um, so I just picked up a packet of the ready rice. So you're gonna use a cup of this. This container is, uh, this little package is two cups, so I'm gonna use about half a cup of cheese. And then just mix everything together. Okay, and then you take the mixture and you're gonna stuff the peppers. Okay, so one of the things that you wanna make sure you do whenever you buy your bell peppers is that they can stand up. They need to be either the three or the four bottomed ones, not these random mutant two bottom ones. Because now I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get them to sit up in my crock pot. Okay, I've got them cropped up here inside my crock pot. I'm just gonna take the leftover mixture and just spoon it in here. And then just go ahead and top it with a little bit of additional cheese. Put the lid on and cook on low. Since the meat is already cooked, um, we're really just cooking down the bell peppers till they're soft. Um, so I'm gonna cook it on low for about three to four hours, and we'll check it after that point to see how it looks. Okay, it's been four hours. Okay, so here they are. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. Um, so it released a lot of liquid. I was kind of surprised. It actually said to put um, a third a cup of water on the bottom, and I'm really glad that I didn't do that because there's a lot of liquid in there. 
Okay, husband's home, and we're gonna try our new dinner. Go ahead and try it. I'll try it. Uh, help! Okay. I cooked it before I put it in there. Mm, it's good. Good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it needs a little seasoning, but I would say that it's good. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So the recipe that I originally had downloaded actually said to put raw meat in it. Um, and then just check the temperature before you serve it. But I wasn't going to do that. So, all right, well, um, I'll leave the recipe down below. Um, Comment if you have any questions or comments. <laughs> Whatever. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.